Gringo is a term, mainly used in Spanish-speaking countries, to refer to an English-speaking foreigner, especially an American person. The term is often used in a disparaging sense, but in and of itself is not derogatory. The word was originally used in Spain to denote any foreign, non-native speakers of Spanish. Etymology, Roger Axtell, a travel etiquette expert, notes that the word gringo is not necessarily a bad word. It is slang but is derogatory only in its use and context. The word gringo was first recorded in Volume 2 of the Diccionario Castellano con las Voces de Sciences y Art y sus Correspondientes en las Tres Lenguas Francesa, Latina e Italiana, by Tireros y Pando, wherein it is defined as gringos, lemon en malaga a los extranjeros, cation en cierta especie de acento, que los priva de una la caixa cube den fácil, y natural castellana. Y en Madrid dan el mismo, y por la misma causa con particularidad de los islandeses. Gringos is what, in Malaga, they call foreigners who have a certain type of accent that prevents them from speaking Castilian easily and naturally. And in Madrid they give the same name, in particular, to the Irish. The dominant view among etymologists is that gringo is most likely a variant of Gigo a Euro Greuca Euro unregistered trademark speech. Nevertheless, it has been suggested that Giga Gringo is phonetically unlikely, because the derivation requires two steps, Giga Griego, and Griego Gringo. Instead it is claimed that Gringo might derive from Calacubed, the language of the Romani people of Spain, as a variant of Gringo a Euro per Grin a Euro unregistered trademark, a Euro a Ferrer a Euro unregistered trademark, and a Euro Stranger a Euro unregistered trademark. The gringo entry in the Novo Dictionario Franca Copyright S Spar Plus or Minus All, by Antonio de Capmany, records. Habler en gigo, en guirige, en gringo, to speak in Greek, in gibberish, in gringo. Gringo, gigo, applicase a locase a diso scribes in intendus. Gringo, grelica applies to what is said or written without understanding it. Moreover, Besides a euro oe habler en gringo euro, Spanish also contains the analogous phrase a euro oe habler en china euro, when referring to someone whose language is difficult to understand, thereby reinforcing the notion that alluding to the languages of other nations is a clitch a copyright. Furthermore, in the 1840s, Johann Jacob von Studi said that gringo was common Peruvian Spanish usage in Lima. Gringo is a nickname applied to Europeans. It is probably derived from Gigo. The Germans say of anything incomprehensible, a Euro OE that sounds like Spanish a Euro, a Euro, and, in like manner, the Spaniards say of anything they do not understand, a Euro OE that is Greuca Euro. In English, gringo has been in use in the English language since the 19th century. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the first recorded use of the term in an English source is in John Woodhouse Audubon's Western Journal of 1849-1850, in which Audubon reports that his party were hooted and shouted at and called gringos while passing through the town of Cerro Gordo, Veracruz. Folk etymologies There are several conjectures within folk etymology that purport to derive the origin of gringo from word coincidences. It has been said that gringo originated in Mexico during the Mexican-American War because Americans would sing the song Green Grow the Lilacs. As the word originated in Spain long before there was a Spanish-speaking Mexico, there is no truth to this urban legend. In fact, at one time, the word in Spain was often used to refer specifically to the Irish. And according to a 1787 dictionary, it often referred to someone who spoke Spanish poorly. In Puerto Rico, some people also believe that the word gringo originated from the words green, and go, and that it refers to the desire of some locals to have the U.S. military leave the island by telling them, green, go. Rafael Abel considered the word gringo to derive from English greenhorn, a novice, or raw, inexperienced person. He claimed that in the United States, men from the West Coast are called Westmen, while people from the East Coast are called greenhorns. Another folk etymology that was reported in U.S. newspapers of the time connects the word with the song Green Grow the Lilacs, by English King Henry VIII, versions of which were sung around campfires by English-speaking Americans, 
and or sung while marching in the captured capital of Mexico City in September 1847. When the Mexican-American War began in 1846, several hundred recently immigrated Irish, German, and other Roman Catholic Americans who were sent by the U.S. government to fight against Mexico came to question why they were fighting against a Catholic country for a Protestant one, combined with resentment over their treatment by their Anglo-Protestant officers, and deserted to join forces with Mexico. Led by Captain John Riley of County Galway, they called themselves St. Patrick's Battalion and frequently sang the song Green Grow the Rushes, oh, the 3rd Cavalry were the only U.S. cavalry unit to wear green stripes on their trousers, and some believed that during their campaigns in the Southwest they were referred to as gringos because of that stripe. Because of the prominence of Irish Americans in the regiment, the regimental song was Green Goes the Rushes, Ho. It is possible since the soldiers would sing this song as they rode on their horses, the Mexicans associated them with Green Go. Yet another version is on display currently at the Alamo in an exhibit claiming that the term gringo originated from Mexican soldiers hearing their Irish counterparts yelling Erin go brad, whenever they charged. Another version of the origin of the word is in the Mexican Revolution when Francisco Pancho Villa attacks Columbus the U.S. Army to Mexico in the Villa expedition, so when the American army asked the people for Francisco Villa, the people answer gringo, because the green uniform that the American army were wearing. All these explanations place the origin of the word gringo in the 19th century, which is a serious problem because the word was documented 50 years earlier in the 1786 Diccionario Castellano con las Voces de Sciences y Art y sus Correspondientes en las Tres Lenguas Francesa, Latina e Italiana by Esteban de Tireros y Pando, and in South American literature. However, a word known mainly by scholars is one thing while one that enters the vernacular is another, so the theory is still viable, and awaits further documentation. If the word spread through the Mexican troops from hearing the song, the fact that they were mostly illiterate would make documentation on the Mexican side of the border hard to find. Brazil and Portugal, in Brazilian and Portuguese popular culture, someone unintelligible is traditionally said to speak Greek. In Brazil, the word means basically any foreigner and there are also other popularly used terms for fair-skinned and blonde people, like Alamo Pando, or Russo. Gringo is almost absent of pejorative connotation outside political nationalist circles. In Portugal the word is very rarely used and so is Iank. It is never used in a formal context. It specifically describes someone from the USA, and is not related to any particular physical or racial features. The most common slang terms used throughout the country are karma cube knee, and bife. Probably the most used and correct expressions are defora, or simply estrangero. Other uses, in Mexican cuisine, a gringa is a flour tortilla with al pasta pork meat with cheese, heated on the comal and then served with a salsa de chili. Most commonly, it's thought that the dish was born in a Mexico City takeover when the owner served it to two women from the United States that asked for a Mexican dish but disliked corn tortillas. The name comes from the feminine of gringo. In the 1950s, the Blue 50 Mexican peso bill was called an ojo de gringa. See also, Anglo, Bailillo, Buell, Canuck, Cracker, Farang, Gabico, Gajin, Goy, Gringo Trail, Gar One Quarter Euro. Gurri, Guelo, Hale, Hunky, Moscow, Old Gringo, Pecar, Pindos, Poco, Use of the Word American, Yankee, Matsali, References.